how to set up your iPhone 14 Pro Max for the first time. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. So in today's video, I'll simply show you how you can set up your iPhone for the first time. So you simply want to make sure to watch this video till the end. So maybe you purchased a new iPhone or maybe that you reset it. You can follow this process for any other versions of iPhone such as 13, 12, 11, 10 or so on. In order to get started when you first reset it, you will see this kind of interface where you first need to simply swipe up. The very first thing of course that you have to do is go ahead and then choose a language for yourself so i'll just go ahead and then choose a language after that you also simply want to make sure to select your country or region so let me also go ahead and select that as well find your country or region and then select it then after that you can say quick start or setup manually right so just tap on the setup manually option once you've done that, it'll ask you written and spoken languages, so you can customize these settings if you want, but I will simply leave it at that and then tap on the option called continue. The next thing you have to do is continue and connect with your Wi-Fi network. If you want, you can actually connect without your Wi-Fi and then you have to set up your Apple ID later. But just for this video, I'll go ahead and then connect to my Wi-Fi. Once you enter the Wi-Fi password, tap on the join option. Now once I connect to my Wi-Fi, it is going to take a while to connect it. So as you can see, it says that it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So we're going to simply wait until this process is complete. So over here, you will see all this. So we're going to just agree to the terms and conditions by tapping on the continue option. If you want to set up your face ID, you can do so right away. But I'm going to set this up later because the video is going to be too long. So I'll just tap on set up later option. Now it'll ask you to choose a passcode for your iPhone. By default, it will be set to six digits as you can see. So if you want a short one such as four digits you can tap on the passcode option you can choose to have a password numeric code numeric code or four digit numeric code or don't use password at all in this case i'll just select four digit numeric code and then i'll simply go ahead and choose a passcode for myself now once i do that this password can be easily guessed but i'm just going to use it anyway for this video so i'll just go ahead and enter the password again make sure to confirm it twice once you've done that, it'll ask you to actually restore your apps and data, choose how you want to transfer apps. So if you have an older iPhone, this is the place from where you want to go ahead and then transfer your data from your older iPhone to transfer all your data from your Android or from apps and data and so on. But for now, I'm just going to select don't transfer apps and data. Then after that, it'll ask you to log into your Apple ID, which is also another important part of this video. If you have an Apple ID, you can go ahead and simply log in and verify. If you don't have an Apple ID, you can create one or you can skip the process right away. So in this case, I'll just select the option Option called don't have an apple id from the bottom here it says create a free apple id or set up later in settings you can set it up later but i'm just going to create one right away by tapping on the create a free apple id option if you've done this you can actually skip this process now once you've entered your birthday just tap on the continue option after that, it will ask you to choose an email address that you want to use for your iCloud. So in this case, you can also add a Gmail address, Yahoo, Hotmail or anything or you can just create an iCloud email right away. So over here, you simply want to enter the email address that you want to use. In this case, I just selected at iCloud.com is going to type in automatically. After that, just tap in the continue option. And then once you've done that, it will ask you to create an email address. So just tap on create email address button. Now, once you've done that, you need to simply make sure to enter your Apple ID password. So I will go ahead and do that as well. Once you've entered your password, make sure to verify it in the next box again and then just tap on continue. And then as you tap on the continue, it will ask you to actually enter a phone number. So make sure to simply enter your phone number here. Once you enter your phone number, select how you want to verify such as text message or phone call. I'll just select text message and then just tap on continue. Now it will send a verification code to my phone number. Make sure you have access to this number and then wait until you receive the code and then enter it. On my other phone, I've already received the code. So I'm just going to go ahead and then enter them basically. Once I've entered the verification code, if the verification code is correct, you'll see this option. Where now you have to agree to all the terms and conditions, tap on the agree option over here. And then once you agree to the terms and condition, it will update some of the iCloud settings for you. So now after that process is complete, it will ask me to keep my iPhone up to date. So I'll just tap on the continue option. If you want to enable location services, you can do that. But personally, I don't like when someone else is always using my location. So I'll just tap on disable location services and then I'll hit the OK button. After I've done that, you can also actually tune on iCloud Keychain. But I'll just select don't use iCloud Keychain. Now this is totally up to you. You can continue it if you want. But I'll just select not now. And then if you want to set up screen time, you can do that. But again, I'll select set up later in settings. You can continue it because this is going to keep track of whatever you're using on your iPhone. If you want to share your analytics, this is something that I want Apple to improve. So I'll just select the option called share with Apple. If you want to turn in app analytics, you can just go ahead and share with app developers. The next thing you want to do is to simply choose the appearance, whether you want the light theme or that you want the dark theme. Depending upon what you want, just select a preference and then tap on continue and then you can also select a zoom such as standard or zoom i'll just select standard and then hit the continue option 
after that you can select your emergency sos but for now i'll just hit continue and now our iphone is already set up all we have to do is simply swipe up and now you can see that the iphone is successfully set up now if you want you can also go ahead increase or decrease the brightness and then use your iphone respectively and this is simply how you can go ahead and set up your new iphone we hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have got any more questions feel free to leave them down Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you in the next video.